Hello, welcome back everyone. Um, right, we're in a little village, it's called Erbit upon Humber. Now that's what it said coming in. And I just want to sh show you this as well. Look how beautiful that garden is. That is absolutely lovely. Anyway, we're going to take a walk and we're going to take a walk and have a look at this lovely church. Now, there's some pigs down here as well, so we're going to take a walk and have a look. Anyway, right, so I've been asked to, um, if I would do a shout out. So I'm going to get the piece of paper out of my pocket. See, took no chances this time. So right, so while you can see me, I'm sorry about the camera shaking, just I'm trying to get it out. Right, so. Right, yeah, so sorry about the camera shaking. Right, so, it's a shout out. Um, I believe is the person is called Hugh Janus. And it's a big shout out to you and your husband, uh, your wife Pam. Sorry, my mistake. Your wife Pam. So, uh, I'll just show you, I've written it down anyway. So I don't know if you can read that. My handwriting's a bit, uh, a bit dodgy today. Anyway, it's a really big shout out to Pam. Um, and of course your husband, uh, Eugenius. It, say, it says, uh, Eugenius 74. So I'm sure you'll know exactly who you are and I said I will give you a shout out. So anyway, right, so before we go across and take a look, uh, we're just going to show you some, uh, oh, lovely sheep. I actually thought there was pigs from over the other side of the road. I really did. So yeah, so you got some lovely sheep there. Um, and they're all going, <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> uh, right, yeah, so. Anyway. So right, a uh, little village we're in, um, it said on the board, just back down there, not there, other way, um, it said Erbit upon Humber. It's a very, very uh, small village. So right, we're going to cross over the road, over there. I will tell you the, the name of uh, the church, obviously when I get over there. So, oh, church bells are going. Right, come on quick before any cars come. The only reason why I just said to Keely about quick before any cars come is simply you can see. Yeah, dead frogs and all sorts. Anyway, so this church, it's on Church Lane. And there's obviously somebody in the church. But we are going to take a walk and we're going to go and take a look round. <coughs> so yeah, so that's a big, really, really big shout out to, um, to uh, Pam. Um, and obviously your husband, uh, you, Janus, 74, I think that's what it's just said in there. Um, so yeah, really big shout out to, to both of you from me and Keely. There's Keely, look, obviously, there's a wife. So yeah, it's a big thumbs up to you, um, and a big thumbs up from Keely as well. So we've done that shout out for you. So yeah, we thought we'd just travel today to this uh, little village, like I say, it's called Erbit, Erbit on Humber. Um, yeah, so anyway, now I don't know if in a, a little village that a bus is actually going to stop there. I've got zero idea, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say no, but hey, anything's possible. So we're just taking a bit of a look. I tell you what, that is an absolute gorgeous place as well. I'm not going to lie, that's that's a lovely place behind me. Seriously, lovely driving everything on it. I don't know where that goes. Of course, I'm not going to go driving down because we park over the other side of the road there. So I've got no idea where that goes to. Uh, yeah, you can the gate. Well, I'm just going to have a quick look. I'm hoping that we can get in. Because it does look a really nice church. Right, so I'll just show you the board. And that's that's what it is. It's St. Andrew's Church, um, Erbit upon Humber. 
So right, that's that. Now, obviously, I'm going to try the gate. Yeah, the gate's open. Brilliant. And you know what I like about this gate as well? Have you noticed right on the top, look? It's all original spikes. That is absolutely brilliant. So right, yeah, so we're now coming in. And I'll tell you something, I'll just show you this as well. You don't see many of them big old oil tanks. Because as you know, everything is now gas central heated. So right, so yeah, here we are. Um, we're at the church. Never been here before, zero idea. Um, so I was going to take a look around. I'll show you at the back of me as well where Keely is. And I'll turn it as much around as I can. Uh, I will, if I just step here and spin the camera around, and then you, you should be able to see some of the church at the back of me. But it looks really nice. I'm hoping there's an age on it as well. You know, a date, so I can see the age. So that would be nice as well. So if we can find out the age of this church, definitely be more than happy to uh, to do that as well. <laughs> Morning. Morning. You all right? Yeah, I am, mate. Yeah. yeah, good, good. Yeah, so anyway, uh, so just behind me. Um, what? About 800 years. Right. Yeah, there's a gentleman um, who's just pointed out it could be in around 800 years old, this church. <coughs> and to be honest, I'm going to give him fair and square and I'm going to say he's probably even right as well. But I'm going to, I'm actually going to go all the way around. Um, you can actually get round it, so I'm going to try and figure a way because i don't want to step on anybody's graves last thing i need but there's like a little path just here just down there so i'm gonna follow that round and i'm gonna try and give you a little bit better footage of the actual church itself so the thing about these kind of churches though if this is about 800 year, 800 years old you can understand why a lot of the graves have sunk into the ground of course i mean that's totally understandable isn't it so yeah there it is anyway there it is don't get me wrong it's not the biggest graveyard in the world do you know what i mean but i, I give credit it is very very nice it is honestly a very very lovely nice church it really really is yeah it's great but it is nice to come and you know Come and show it it really is and if you just look over the road where i've just showed you look how beautiful all that over there is that is absolutely gorgeous it really is now there's no plaques or anything on the benches because as you know with some churchyards they do um so yeah i'm just going to walk like where these trees are because i don't like so i don't be wanting to be walking on any graves or anything of course i don't do you know what i mean i don't want to do that but honestly it's a lovely church very very nice it really is so uh, if you can see though i'm just trying to go around and give you as much better footage do you know what i mean as i can because if i can give you better footage but yeah but like i said that gentleman said it's in there, in and around 800 years old and like I said, I do believe it. I really do believe it. But like I said, I don't want to be stepping on graves and stuff. But obviously, a lot of them have sunk into the ground, so you can't really, you can't really tell if you get what I mean. You can't really tell where they are and where they're not. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's nice, it really is, very very nice. Look at the view. The view is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that look. How beautiful that stands out. That is honestly, just stands right out. But for a very small village, from what we've seen just back up that road there, honestly. But yeah, apparently from what the board said, um, and I've just shown you the board as well just where the um, gate is and like I said it does say Irby up 
upon Humber. Now, I've never heard of it. I haven't. I've never heard of Irby upon Humber. And it was just that every time I'm coming off the case to road, I just see a sign. And I thought, well, might as well, you know, might as well just travel out here today and try and grab a little bit of footage. Well, yeah, honestly, it's really nice. Yes, honestly, yeah, it's really nice. For an 800 year old church, anyway. So I'll just walk back this way. And I'll. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, I'm just going to show you it anyway. That big stained glass window. Honestly, yeah. Nice. Obviously, I don't know if they still use this church. I've got zero idea. I do not know. Um, as explained, like the man said, it's about 800 years old. And I can't actually quite believe it. I can't actually quite believe it, to be honest. <clears throat> now, some of the headstones, you can't even read them. Um, you know, because obviously how old they are. But it is, honestly, a very, very nice church. It is, it's lovely. And now I'm trying to hold the stick down so you can try and get a bit better view because there's a lot of trees just right there behind me so there's a lot of trees obviously so you can't really like stand over say there and get a proper footage um you know what i mean so and that it's a shame really like it's a shame because places like these um in a little village like this well i'm gonna say they'll literally get forgotten about and I know it sounds silly, but it does. That one, so Mum said, this might be interesting. Right, see that one there? Which one? This one here. One with the little reindeer on? Yeah. Can yeah. you work it out what it says? It said you might be interested, but it went, it's a bit weird. Right, that gentleman you've probably just seen on camera uh, further down there. Right, what it is, is just pointing something out to Keela that I might be interested in. So I'm going to let each and every one of you decide on yourself. So I'm going to take you to it. It is it is a very small um, gravestone. Okay, okay. But... See if you understand it, when it, it, looks, it looks a bit weird. Right, so I'm going to show you this. Uh, now, of course, just before I do, I just want to point this out. Now, I know a lot of people is going to um, maybe turn around, so why are you showing it? Well, for a start, at the top, it says nameless. Right? Now, th this sounds weird. It does. It says nameless. Be sure your something will something you out. Now I've got zero idea, so I am going to show this, um, but like I explained, I know you're going to turn around and think, well, why are you showing it, but I'll just come further in, and I just want to know if anybody can actually make, if anybody can actually make that out themselves. To me, it looks strange, because it's got nameless on it, but I'm positive, you know, that is somebody's family. Something like that I don't like to see. You know, I don't like to see any um, headstones, what's got nameless on it. But, you know, because everybody's got a family out there. So that person... Um, that bloke turned around and said, like, show your partner. He went, because it's a bit weird to me. He said, something like that. He said, why is it nameless? And how can you understand what it says? But he read it out to me. And he said it, he went, that's a bit weird to me. So yeah, you've probably just been hearing what Keely's just been saying there. 
um, and the gentleman what pointed it out I mean normally I don't go up and I normally I don't do that but because that was pointed out to me um, obviously it was pointed out to Keely and Keely's pointed out to me that is the first one I've ever seen what says nameless Good now way. yeah I mean the thing is the, the thing as well about this is it's very old as well it is very old you can you can tell that by the headstone itself it is very old but the other interesting bit is that right somebody's laid down there it's got nameless on it obviously they've got to have been there for many many months but somebody's put a reindeer that reindeer looks like something you'd maybe buy from a pound shop so what the weirdest thing is why has it got nameless on it so if anybody you know out there um, knows anything about this church like I say it's Urbit upon Humber um, please comment somewhere down there because you might know better than what I will especially if you are from in and around this area now remember this um, lovely church is not far out of Caister because just on the opposite side of the road there there's a cut through um, where you can actually walk onto the main Caister road so yeah um, bit interesting bit weird of course and I'm using that stick thing so my hands aching a little um, but yeah so if anybody's got any idea and, and the other thing as well is why would anybody be buried with a headstone what says nameless come on seriously I'm sure that person's got a name I'm almost certain that person's got a name but it is very very weird it, it, yeah it's the weirdest thing that I've ever known and because that boy was walking from up there because he walked round yeah to see how old that, that people could see a plaque on the church and he come up here and he went have you seen that small one I went no why so it, it, obviously he came up and he showed me and he said neighbours and he read it out and I thought well that's a bit yeah it's weird now the other thing as well I've noticed if you look at the back of me <laughs> just over where my finger is in that area there right now you've got trees what's fallen and you've got a grape what stands all the way back now just beyond that it actually goes down a slope which is also a bit weird as well you know because obviously well there you go so right yeah we'll we'll take a walk back um i'll just move the camera down a little that's a little bit better anyway. I know the stick don't extend to heaven and wherever, I'm but... Saying, if you're going, if you're going out that way, you. Yeah, I'm just going to do a bit more footage going down. That's why I thought I'd go back this way. So I can just re-show the board back off as well. Yeah, anyway. So, if anybody finds that weird, why a grave will have nameless on it. Um, yeah, just give us a comment, see what you think, because I just find it weird anyway. And I'm glad it was pointed out. And if you just look as well, just look over there, there's a great big gap there, but there's one grave and it's right over in the edge. Now, of course, I mean, you know, it is a, a lovely place, but I can't get you the full footage, you know, like from around there because of the trees. So I'm just going to have to do it this way again. So I can just tilt the camera down. But it is absolutely very nice. And they've even got lights down there as well. That's a bit strange. <coughs> so I've just noticed something. I don't know what it is. Um, I'll just show you if anybody knows. Let us know. Then it's not, definitely, it's not, not for catching rodents. I just want to point that out. It's not for catching rodents. It's definitely not for that. So yeah, so that's what it looks like all over at the back there. And like I said, this is the, I'm just gonna show you here, cause this, and have you noticed that light there? That light just up there, wherever it is. Yeah, up there. Um, age of that. Now I don't know what you can see in here. I'll try to show you. 
don't know what you're going to be able to kind of see, but you probably might not be able to see a lot. Hmm. But yeah, honestly, it's really nice. It's a very nice church. Like I said, every time I've, you know, passed, I've never thought about calling in. You know what I mean? To try and um, get some, put, you know, footage to put on the channel. But I'm glad that I did today. I'm glad that, you know, jumped in the car and came out. But anyway, this is it. This is an absolutely drop-dead gorgeous church. And I'll be honest with you. It's nice. Yeah, very nice. And I'll just turn the camera to give you some footage like at the back of me as well. So you can just see further down there. Uh, yeah. Anyway, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. That would be nice as well. And I'm glad I've done that um, shout out, definitely, um, to Pam um, and obviously her husband. So it's a big shout out to both of you. Yeah, so anyway, I'll just re-show the board. So there's the board. Um, it does want straightening up though, I'm not going to lie, it does. It wants straightening up a little bit. Definitely, that needs straightening. But I, there's a sign as well, just there where my thumb is. And it does say slippery when wet because of all the green moss. Moist moss on the floor. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, absolutely. So yeah, so anyway, I've done the shout out now uh, for Pam and you, Janus74. If I get that uh, wrong, shoot me. Um, but yeah, big shout out to both of you, from me and from Keeley. So you've had a really big shout out on that. And it's a double thumbs up as well from me and Keeley, of course. But anyway, there's the bus shelter. Um, but I can't really see a bus stop in there, to be honest. And of course, there's a nice big field um, just across there as well. And I'll just spin the camera around. And I'll just try and get you a little bit of angle footage from there. Um, so there's obviously the fence running across and there's a church right behind me. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be absolutely lovely. Um, and now I've done that really big nice shout out as well. And it's definitely a big double thumbs up. And I'm sorry that the camera was shaking because like I said, I did write it down. I had to put it in my pocket. And uh, well, I have got zips on my pocket. And of course, I had to go all the way down. Of the tracky bottoms I've got on, got very deep pockets. So right, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up, um, but definitely, hang on Keely. It's wait for me. It's, it's the road, honestly. I've just noticed a sort of cross behind me as well, and it's got pop it. There's a car coming, wait, there's a car. Sorry about that, everybody. I just noticed the car coming from further down the bottom there because as you can see it is a t-junction um, and of course there's like blind bends on both sides so you can't really see anything coming so if you see behind me look how it bends around and obviously the trees <coughs> so uh, yeah I just don't want no accidents I'm over cautious sorry everybody I'm just slightly over cautious but you got to understand uh, yeah, like I said, it's gorgeous church. Absolutely very, very gorgeous look right there behind me. And as you can see, ha, this yard, I love this yard. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. It's huge. It's great. So I'll just show you a little bit more footage of the church. And i got Andake. I'm using that extension thing. So right, yeah, so there it is, right behind me. Anyway, yeah, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It's a big thumbs up from me, big thumbs up from Keely. We'd love you to come and join our channel, obviously. Come and, uh, you know, see our uploads and, you know, come and enjoy. Uh, the other thing as well, now I've done the um, shout out. 
Sloppy Vlogs uh, went to Mablethorpe and he went on uh, the waltzer. I already did the waltzer, now Sloppy Vlogs did six and a half minutes. Me, I did 16 minutes. Um, the young lad what was spinning me, he was spin, 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 spin. And I never even got a break out of that. Um, so yeah, if you want to check that video out as well, um, it's on our channel obviously. It's me, P.O.B. on ride um, at Mablethorpe like he explained on uh, the Spin City Walser. Please get on there, check that out. I'm sure you're gonna love this big fat man going round and round like a washing machine. Uh, so a big shout out to Sloppy Vlogs uh, for, you know, going on that. He did start and get a bit, you know, I started watering. How long he had left before he'd have probably passed out, no one, no one knows. But he only did six and a half minutes, I did 16 minutes. And I'll tell you what, I had to go game over because uh, I actually watched that this morning so I just wanted to point that out as well uh, the other thing I want to point out um, as well to Adventures UK the upload what you did down at the beach um, the 5 o'clock one got to be honest mate it was a mess that beach was absolutely a mess all uh, when I watched it I was actually shocked very very shocked about how much mess people can you know leave up and down and as I do say Please use a bin. Come on, you know, it makes more sense. And that big uh, machine that went up and down, I did actually make a comment back to you this morning uh, just to tell you that they are classed as a cherry picker, even though it's not the one with the big long arm on it, it don't have to be to come under the same uh, category of machines, cherry pickers. Because you just said it was a big lift. Yeah, you was right, it was a big lift that went up and down, but of course it was a cherry picker. Uh, so, right, yeah. So, I'm going to wrap this video up. Like I said, there's the church. Um, and um, like I said, it's a lovely church, but please make that comment about that little grave that I just showed you. Now normally I don't show graves, obviously, that up close and personal. I didn't even want to, but I just found, found it a, a bit strange to find um, something in a, a church what's in and around 800 year old, uh, from what that gentleman said. Even he found it strange, I found it strange, Keely's found it strange, that I, to come across a grave as old as that, with no name on it well it says nameless going over it um as you can probably you know if you watch this you'll definitely see it for yourself it was weird i mean it's the weirdest thing i've ever come across and i think it's the weirdest thing anybody's come across but it was a bit more weird that somebody's put that little reindeer um down there um and of course it looks like something you buy at a pound shop you know like christmas time it, it was a good thought to whoever put that there it was a really nice thought obviously for that person uh, what is there um but yeah i mean if if, it's, if there's anything else anybody knows about this place or if you live like locally and you know more about this church and if you do watch our channel comment down there that would be nice as well so right yeah uh we've done the shout out uh for obviously pam her husband uh so we've done that oh well i've done that uh, so double thumbs up as explained uh, obviously for me and Keely. Um, so really big shout out to you both. Thank you for being uh, part of our channel. Please stick with our channel. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please come and join us. Um, you know, check out as explained about the Walter ones that I've just been talking about as well. Uh, that would be brilliant as well. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, it's uh, yeah. I mean, there's absolutely gorgeous church what's around about 800 years old it's all right bye for now we'll see you on the next one and uh, well as you can see how quiet it is yeah i do agree them bends are a bit you know so if you ever come here just be careful of these bends both sides uh it's all right bye for now everybody and we'll definitely see you on the next one so bye for now